Good morning. Welcome to this live program of NCERT. This is an outreach program in GIS based on web portal School Bhuvan NCERT for PGTs in Geography. This program is scheduled for 5 days from 24th of September to 28th September 2018. Today is the second day of the program and we have received several queries from the participant based on our previous sessions. I am Aparna Pandey, Professor of Geography in NCERT. Thank you participants for your active participation. Queries which we have received on our previous sessions are related to registration. Registration with the school Bhuvan portal. I request all of you, those who are having problem to get registered with the portal, take help from your computer teacher. This is very easy. All instructions are there in the help material on the portal. So, it will not be difficult for you to get registered with this portal. Today, during break time, please do this activity. I would like to reiterate that there is no registration for this program. You are most welcome. Our program is available on YouTube NCERT official. Watch the program, send your queries to our email ID schoolbhuvan ncert at gmail dot com. This email ID you can see on the screen. You can make phone calls on our toll free numbers which are also available on the screen you can see. Some participants have written that they want to interact with the resource persons during the program. Even we would like to interact with you, but this program as I have informed you that first of its kind and we have kept only two sessions every day, each session for one hour duration. So, it is difficult for us to interact with you during this session. That is why we request you to please send your queries that day only after this session. In future, on the basis of your feedback which we will receive after this program, we may plan for whole day program from 10 in the morning to 4 in the evening, but it will be based on the feedback which we will receive after the program from you. Some queries are related to the visibility of image during the program. There was some problem related to sound, you were not able to hear. So, these are technical problems and we will if this problem is from our end, we will try to resolve during these 5 days duration. One participant has also asked that how maps which are available on this school bone and CRT portal can be downloaded. Yesterday, we have also described that how this maps can be downloaded in the session which was taken by Dr. Sayyid. Shada on Bhuvan Geo portal, he has also explained. You can see this um, uploaded material and learn. In some sessions, we will also inform you how you can download the maps which are available on the portal as well as how you can generate any map and download in PDF format. We have come to know that most of the participants were doing hands on activities during the session. Really, it is very encouraging. Keep it up. Today, sessions are devoted to QGIS software, which is an open free software. So, let us start new topic on QGIS software, you will learn how to install this software and tools which are available on this software, 
how you can use these tools to generate map and import files in this software. Introduction to QGIS, a free open source software. QGIS is an abbreviation of Quantum Geographical Information System. This is very popular software which you can install in your computer. Today I am going to tell you how this software can be installed. I would suggest you, you can take help from your computer teachers to install this software in your computer. After this presentation, you will be able to install QGIS software and able to identify tools of QGIS software which are available. You have to write QGIS dot org Q open QGIS dot org from the website. In any search engine you can write QGIS dot org. Here it will come QGIS dot org. This is the home page QGIS, a free and open source geographic information system. You can scroll down this bar, it is mentioned here scroll down. From here you can scroll down this. Then this tab you will see on the screen download now. It is mentioned here download now and you will have to click here download now. Just click on this tab download. Then again when you will scroll down this bar, you will see download for windows, download QGIS for your platform. The current version in QGIS is 3.2.3. .3. This is the latest versions available for you but some old versions are also available. According to your system, you can install any uh, version which is available in QGIS website. Here you will see discover QGIS for users, get involved documentation. I would like to inform you that manual of this QGIS is also available in the uh, website. You can ins download these manuals to learn this QGIS software. These are the versions QGIS standalone installer version 3.2 for 64 bit, Q 
QGIS installer version 3.232 bit. QGIS standalone installer version 2.18 for 64 bit. You can click here QGIS, this is the symbol of QGIS software. Q is written, this is the symbol icon QGIS standalone installer version. 2.18 for 32 bit. It is written here, click here if operating system windows 32 bit. If you have operating systems window 32 bit, you can install this QGIS standalone installer 2.18. Then again, this page will appear, this box when you will click then this box will appear opening QGIS then you have chosen to open this QGIS OS Geo 4W.2.18.24 one setup exe then save file. On this box, it is mentioned save file. Click on save file. Then it has been downloaded and you can click on this to see QGIS setup file. This is the folder of QGIS setup file. Then click on this folder. When you will click on this folder, you can see the downloaded file. This is the QGIS setup file, which has been downloaded in your computer. Then click open, here we have also mentioned, click open to run QGIS setup file. open this file. This box appears. Do you want to allow the following program from an unknown publisher to make changes to this computer? You will have to click on yes click on yes. Then this box appears, welcome to the QGIS 2.18.24. Then in this box it is mentioned next, click on next. Then again, this box appears QGIS 2.18 version license agreement. On this box, you will have to click on I agree. Click on I agree. Then again this box appears, choose 
install location then you will have to click on here it in this box it is mentioned destination folder QGIS destination folder it is going in program files then click on next click on next then this box appears installing the software QGIS software is installing this is installing this bar shows that software is being installed installing QGIS software then you will have to reboot your computer and then you it is written finish click on finish I have installed old version 1.8 in my computer and I am going to show this is the icon quantum GIS desktop quantum you will have to click on quantum GIS desktop when it will be installed in your computer two icons you can see quantum GIS browser and quantum GIS desktop you will have to click on quantum GIS desktop if you have downloaded installed 2.18 version you will have to click on quantum GIS 1 2.18 then this box appears and click yes click yes when you open this software these tools you can see and this is called menu bar of QGIS software this is called menu bar quantum GIS menu bar where you can see file edit view layer setting plugin vector raster database web and help this is menu bar of QGIS software when you click and this is when you click layer you can see layer layer panel allows users to view layers for example raster and vector WMS etc whatever layers you want to open here all these layers will be visible here this is called layers panel all layers will be here these are map navigation toolbar these are map navigation toolbar you can see pan pan map to selection zoom in zoom out zoom to native pixels resolution zoom full zoom to selection zoom last and last one is the refresh so this oh, these tools are called map navigation toolbar when you click view on menu bar if you click on view then you can see 
in view toolbars. Toolbars, when you click on toolbar, you can see these are the tools available. These are the tools available and if we want to digitize any map, any, then we will have to click on digitizing in view, click on view, then this toolbar will appear. In toolbars, click on digitizing. If my requirement is digitization, I can add digitizing tool to my QGIS screen. These are the toolbars. Then click digitizing. Then this is digitizing toolbar. This is digitizing tool bar. In digitizing tool bar, several tools are available. Start digitize, start editing, save editing, add feature, move feature, node tool, delete feature, cut feature, copy feature, paste feature and numerical digitize. You will have to put cursor on each tool and read what is written here. As we have added digitizing toolbar, similarly we can add other toolbars as per our requirements. Thank you. I hope after this uh, presentation, you will be able to install QGIS software in your computer. After this session, you will get one hour break and during this time, you can install QGIS software in your computer and if you face any problem, please send us your questions through email on schoolbhuvan ncert at gmail dot com or you can make phone calls on our toll free numbers. Now we are going to locate capital cities on schoolbhuvan ncert portal and we can develop map on which we can show location of these maps, uh, capitals of states and union territories of India. Let us do this exercise. You can do this exercise simultaneously while watching this program. Mapping capitals of state UTs of India on school bhuvan NCERT. In this activity, we are not going to identify the places, but we are going to develop maps of these cities on the paper map. We can take print out of this map. In this exercise, you will also learn how to download data from school bhuvan ncert portal as well as how to export shape files to QGIS software to generate any map. Objective of this session is to prepare a point map geographic location to show capital cities of states and UTs of India. You will be able to create point shape file 
on school bhuvan ncert portal import point shape file in qgis software symbolize point shape file in Q in gis environment and generate layout in qgis software let's start this activity open school bhuvan ncert portal click on explore Uh, we have received some questions that these uh, tools which are available on uh, school bhuvan ncrt portal were not visible on the screen therefore we are trying to make it visible again if you find some problem please send your queries or any question regarding this session this is bhuvan portal school bhuvan ncrt portal we have clicked on find we have clicked on find what we are going to find let us see you need to zoom in this satellite imagery click on zoom in click on this tool click zoom then click on tools click on tools under tools one tool is draw tools yesterday also i had introduced you it is written draw tools for creation of point line and polygon online shape file creation point line polygon you will have to click draw tool then this box appears draw tool use the draw tool to add graphic elements to the terrain and export the export them as a shape file this box thematic series map box we want to close just to make it more comfortable so click to close thematic series one box you will have to click on this icon and this box will disappear from the screen and then on this box draw tool box this is for point tool click here for point tool to draw point shape file there are several tools but this tool is for point tools click on the image to create a point this point has been created by clicking on this image now in this box you can see this green arrow click down arrow button green button to export new delhi as shape file because this is a shape file this shape file can be downloaded can be exported in gis software so you will have to click on this green arrow it is also mentioned here 
export as shape file. Point is a shape file which you are going to export by clicking on this green arrow. Then this box appears, it is written create shape file. To create your shape file, click on create button and then click on download button to download it. Enter the attribute 1, for that you will have to write Delhi and then enter the attribute 2, for that you can write New Delhi is a capital. Fill details. For example, enter the attribute 1 Delhi and enter the attribute 2 as New Delhi. In this box, you will have to write this. Then click on create. After writing Delhi and New Delhi, click on create. Then download, click on download. this box appears, you have chosen to open this file WinRAR and then this file you are going to save, save file and click OK. Create shape file, click cross option to close create shape file dialog box because you have already created this shape file. Click to view downloaded shape file. Here in this corner you will have to click and then this box appears where you can see your downloaded file. Click on the folder. Click on the folder. This appears and then you will have this is the file and then you will have to click on extract here. It is written click extract here. Change name of the folder as Delhi because you will have to retrieve these files again and again. Therefore, you can name it as Delhi so that you will be able to recognize your folder. Then you can click on Delhi, open the folder. These all files are related to Delhi. These are supported supporting file and are related to Delhi shape file. All these four files are related to Delhi, which you have created. Same method you will apply to create all other cities of India, capital cities of India. You will have to click on the image and then create a shape file and download in the computer. See, we have downloaded all cities and for Andaman and Nicobar Islands, Port Blair, then Andhra Pradesh, Hyderabad and for Telangana also Hyderabad, Arunachal Pradesh, Itanagar, Dispur for Assam, Patna for Bihar and Chandigarh for Punjab Haryana. All these cities you can see we have created shape file for these cities and same method you will have to apply to download all files in your computer. As we have created downloaded unzipped, unzipped and saved shape files using school bhuvan ncert portal 
for New Delhi follow similar method to create shape file for capitals of other states and UTs of India. Now I would like to show you cities. This is Srinagar in Jammu and Kashmir. This is the capital of Jammu and Kashmir. When we ask students to draw any capital city on the map of India, we are not asking them to draw on the plain paper. They are observing all these settlement patterns of the city. What these settlement patterns tell us? They tell us about the socio-economic geographical aspects of the city. They tell us the terrain features which are there in the city. Why this city has been developed like that? All these things can be seen and analyzed while doing this activity. This is Shimla, Himachal Pradesh. This is the settlement pattern of Shimla. When students will draw this map, they will put a point on the satellite imagery to locate Shimla. They are not putting a point only. They are observing the terrain of this area and how this area is different from any other part of the country. This is the city of Chandigarh, capital city of Punjab and Haryana. You can see the settlement patterns of this city. This is Chandigarh is a planned city, one of the modern cities of India. Do you know who, who was the architect of this city? Lee Carbusier, he was a French architect who has planned this city. All these roads you can see in a rectangular form. This is Dehradun, capital city of Uttarakhand. This is capital city of Uttar Pradesh, Lucknow. This meandering river flowing here and sit expansion of city can be seen on both the sides of this river. This is Patna, capital city of Bihar. You can see this wide stretch of Ganga river. Patna is a, a very old city, an ancient city. Earlier it was known as Pataliputra. So, students when they are putting point to locate any city on the map, they are also observing its location, they are also observing its latitude and longitude which is mentioned on this portal. They do not have to memorize that this city is situated in which area and what is the latitude and longitude of this city, what will be the climate of this city. This is Ranchi capital city of Jharkhand situated on the plateau. This is Kolkata, capital city of West Bengal. See the expansion of this city on both the sides of the Hooghly river. This city, you can see the haphazard development of this city and some areas are well planned. Both are visible on the screen. Ask students to see and write notes on this that what they have observed and discuss in the classroom. You can divide uh, students into different groups and they can make their observations in the 
note sheets or they can discuss this thing in the classroom also. This is Bhuvaneshwar. Bhuvaneshwar is also a planned city. This is the capital city of Odisha. It's a planned city and this was planned by a German architect, Dr. Otto. He had planned this city and this Bhuvaneshwar falls in Khurda district. This area you can see all these this is a planned development, administrative city, town, all capitals are administrative towns and cities. This is Itanagar, Arunachal Pradesh, hilly area, greenery everywhere, some scattered settlements. We teach about different types of settlements in class 12, clustered settlements sparsely populated settlements, sparsely spaced settlements. This is Gangtok, you can zoom in this area to see settlements, capital city of Sikkim. Zoom in to see settlement pattern of this city. This is capital city of Nagaland, Kohima. See the pattern. On hill sides, some settlements are clustered because settlements uh, pattern is based on different factors, availability of water, climate, availability of agriculture areas. So, accordingly you can see different patterns, terrain also play, uh, plays very important role. This is this poor capital city of Assam. See the expansion of the city on the plains. This is Brahmaputra plain. You can see the densely populated area in the northeastern region. All these files, when I am putting this point, you can see all these green arrows. These green arrows are showing the downloaded shape files. All these, this is 15 number. So, 15 files we I have downloaded. Same procedure I have adopted which uh, we had adopted for New Delhi. This is Shillong, beautiful city of the northeast situated on the plateau. Shillong plateau. See the topography and let the students enjoy this beautiful scene of these cities. This is not available on any wall map or any city or any, any paper or any uh, textbook which they can enjoy on this satellite imageries. This is Tripura, capital, Agartala, capital city of Tripura. This is Agartala and see we are just downloading, this is 17 number. This is Mizoram, Aizol, capital city of Mizoram, capital city of Madhya Pradesh. This is the beautiful big lake in Madhya Pradesh, in Bhopal. See in this image. I hope today you will be able to see these labels clearly on the screen. If you have any problem, please send your queries. This is Raipur, capital city of Chhattisgarh. Jaipur, capital city of Rajasthan. See this walled city its expansion, its structure, topography, lakes, everything is visible. You can zoom in this area and see in detail. 
Simultaneously, you can see these latitude and longitudes of different cities coming here, wherever you will put your cursor, it will appear. This is Gandhinagar, capital city of Gujarat, this is also a planned city and see this Sabarmati river on the bank of Sabar, Sabarmati, the city is situated, you can see and compare with other cities of India. Daman and Diu, this is the capital city of Daman and Diu, Union Territory. Dadra and Nagar Haveli, here, see this river, channels, small rivers. This is Mumbai, the metropolitan city. Zoom in this area and see the expansion of this city. See, we are just downloading all these cities. This is feature shape file 25. This is capital city, Mumbai. This is Hyderabad, capital city of Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. See the expansion of the city, settlement patterns, topography, all you can observe and something which I am unable to observe, you can observe and note down. Panji, capital city of Goa, you can observe mining areas in these states also, you will have to zoom in these areas. Bengaluru, capital city of Karnataka, Chennai, capital city of Tamil Nadu, see this Bay of Bengal, coastal city, settlement patterns, Puducherry, Union Territory, Bay of Bengal, see the color of different human made feature and natural features on satellite imageries and ask students to identify different features which are visible on the screen. Then Port Blair, capital city of Andaman and Nicobar, on this portal you can uh, see these things in detail on paper map or on wall map, you see only small dots, but here you can zoom in and see different features, land features, natural features, human made features, terrain, everything is visible. Tiruvananthapuram, capital city of Kerala, ask students to uh, locate and zoom in, Kavaratti, capital city of Lakshadweep. Then, when I have downloaded all these files, all these files, when I have shape files, I have downloaded, then click to de-zoom, this is you can zoom out this. Then on the map of India, on the map of the satellite imageries, you can see all these points which you have drawn, which you have drawn on satellite imageries can be seen and these are the downloaded shape files which you can see here in this panel. Now, you have to import all these files in QGIS software. Already you have installed QGIS software, so click on QGIS software desktop, then this box appears. Whenever we click on QGIS software or any software on the uh, in computer, then this box appears, you will have to click on yes. 
then go to layer menu. Now you are familiar with all the tools or you can again see the previous presentation on QGIS. Go click on layer, it is written here go to layer menu, then click add WMS layer. This add WMS layer is here, you will have to click on WMS layer. WMS means web map service. When you will click that, then this box appears and you will have to click on new, click on new. Then this box appears where you will have to put name and URL. So, you will have to put name and URL. In the name, you can write outline underscore India because you are going to show all these capital cities on the map of India. And for map of India, you will have to go to Bhuvan portal. Yesterday in the second session, uh, uh, scientist Mr. Shadab had introduced you to uh, Bhuvan portal. And in this Bhuvan portal, Bhuvan store, here in Bhuvan portal, Indian Geo platform of ISRO, on this Bhuvan portal, you will have to click on Bhuvan store. When you will click on Bhuvan store, then scroll this bar, this appear land use and land cover theme land use and land cover theme scale 1 is to 50,000. This is web service WMS service URL, this is the WMS service. On this, you, this theme you will have to select this URL, land use land cover 1 is to 50,000, availability this one and then WMS on this you will have to click, select and copy selected text. When you will copy and paste it here in URL, here this in this box where you have written outline underscore India, there you will have to paste this URL, paste URL here and click OK click OK and then this box appears, then click on connect. Then this box appears, scroll this down and find state level boundaries map of India. Here you will have to select this vector India state 2250k India state boundary. Then click on vector India state to because you are going to make a state boundaries of India, then select this and click add. Here it is mentioned add and click on add then close. This map appears, go to layer menu and this is the map of India which appears, go to layer and then add vector layer, click on add vector layer, browse, click browse. Then point shape files of UTs and states and UTs are here, which you have downloaded. Click on open, like Agartala, we have selected Agartala. Click on open, this is the shape file. Click open, then this box appears. Click open and this is the capital city of Tripura 
layer appears in this layer panel, vector India shape file and then this is the capital city of Tripura. As we have opened shape file of Tripura in QGIS environment, similar method may be followed to open other capital cities. Double click here to change symbol, size and color of the point. Click this box appears and you will have to click on change. Click on change, then click on symbol for example, star because several symbols uh, you can select any symbol for that. Click change, click on a symbol for example, a star. then click change, here this tab is there, click change, these are the colors, you can select any color, click on color, for example, red color I have chosen, then click ok, fill size of the symbol, here you can select size big or small, any size you can select, click ok and then label also you can select, click label and you want to display labels, then click on display, click field containing labels, it is mentioned here field containing labels, in this box only field containing labels, then click you can give message click OK. As we have symbolized capital city of Kerala, Thiruvananthapuram, similar method may be followed to open other point shape file and this is the map where you can see all these capital cities with their symbols. All names are there in the, on the map. Then you will have to click on file and click new print composer, click to layout menu, here layout, then click add map, it is there, in layout you will have to click on add map, click and drag, leave cursor here, here click layout, click add label, click here, click add label, leave cursor here and fill title of the map, here you will have to give title of the map, capital cities of India, then this comes size of the font you can select, add arrow because you have to show direction also, so click arrow, click here and that is way we can show the north arrow of the map this map is ready to download, click export as PDF file, you will go to menu and you can export this map as PDF. Fill name of the capital cities, save this, save this file and capital cities of state and UTs is ready. Activity is there, develop map on school bhuvan and CERT to show the following, four metropolitan cities of India and seaports. This is, uh, uh, these are the activities which you can do while learning this, uh, activities which I have discussed during this 
session. Thank you. Uh, now, this session is over. Next session will start at 12 o'clock and Dr. Harish Karnatak from IIRS ISRO, Dehradun, he will take session on Indian Space Program Missions and Applications. Indian Space Programs Missions and Applications. So, at 12 o'clock again we will meet and learn something about space missions and applications. Thank you.